disputes, quarrels, and other crimes. This intrigues the serious job of being a judge. But for the presiding judge of the Superior Court of San Francisco, the courtroom drama is all in a day's work. Okay, and then I usually take this and I sit here and uh, turn the mic on and I do submission. And um, I'm now prepared, prepared to hear the arguments from counsel. Uh, so counsel, uh, you can now begin. Born to a Filipino father, Ronald Evans Kidachai was raised in Guam by his Irish mother and Guamanian stepfather. I'm actually a native of San Franciscan. My uh, parents, uh, my mother is from uh, Brooklyn, New York, and uh, my Filipino father was actually uh, born in Hawaii, and, uh, but then came to California. At age seven, Ron's mom remarried, so they moved to Guam. Fair-skinned and blue-eyed, doesn't this Filipino-Irish-American judge remind you of Superman? For his accomplishments, friends often joke about his resemblance to the silver screen superhero. But being different, he still experienced discrimination as a child. I became very close friends with uh, another boy, a Navy boy, who uh, lived in the same housing project, Navy housing project that I lived in. And uh, all of a sudden, one, one day I saw this boy and the boy said to me, you know, I can't play with you anymore. And I said, why? And he said, well, because your father's black. Despite his diverse background, he never had doubts about his identity. After reading the book Clarence Darrell for the defense, he was determined to defend the underdogs. As a student, Ron was actively involved in campus activities. He always wanted to right what was wrong and to fight for a cause he believed in. By 1967, um, a group of us uh, founded a group called PACE, the Filipino American Collegiate Endeavor at San Francisco State, and what we were hoping to do at that time is to have ch kids, college kids, high school kids, um, rather than being directed to um, just junior uh, college, to maybe get them into regular college. When he went to law school in 1970, there were only nine lawyers of Filipino origin in the entire state of California. One of the reasons uh, I was supported uh, to be appointed a judge 20 years ago was because I had already been actively involved in affairs at, uh, at the college level. I uh, continued to do that um, when I went to law school. Then when I first became a lawyer, I was a legal aid lawyer here in the city, and I represented um, and assisted many Filipino uh, groups. From being a legal aid attorney in 1974, Ron Kidachai decided to be a trial attorney, and from there became an assistant district attorney of San Francisco. A year later, he became traffic commissioner. Then he was appointed as judge. I'd been very involved in the Filipino community, and members were then uh, trying to find uh, candidates who were interested in becoming a judge, and so I was encouraged to put my name in, and uh, in uh, 1983, Governor Jerry Brown appointed me to the municipal court. Being the first judge of Filipino descent in, in Northern California, um, you know you're going to be in a fishbowl. And so you really try uh, to uh, make sure that, um, you know, you're a good role model. Judge Kitachai handles hundreds of civil and criminal cases every day, but he recalls the hardest sentence he ever imposed was imprisonment for up to one year. A cruelty to animal case where a gentleman uh, was operating on a dog. He, he did not trust veterinarians and decided that he would try to treat the dog himself. His job dictates him to be a strickler for rules, but as a father of two, this soft-spoken lawman is proud of his family and spends as much time with them as he can. This is my wife, so she's uh, there, and mm. then my uh, Navy son, mm -hmm. and then there's the college boy. Being one of the few judges of Filipino ancestry in California, Judge Kidachai hopes that there would be more Pinoys out there who would want to serve the community. And his advice to aspiring judges? You need to set, set a good foundation uh, both in your academics uh, and uh, in your involvement. The judicial system uh, is always going to be better when you have uh, more diversity. And um, I just think that, uh, because I think the judiciary should reflect the fabric of the community. And uh, we are a diverse community.